The letter's been drafted after tonight's uh, board meeting and editing that it will go out first of next week to all the municipalities in the county. And what is the content? The content of the letter really focuses on the state's need to change the way that industrial wind turbine farms are regulated. They don't have to go under the seeker regulation, so there's not a full uh, public review. There's not a, the full environmental review that most any other project has to go by. So that needs to be changed at the state level. The, the local Board of Health has already made this, re this recommendation to the Public Service Commission, as has the Western New York Public Health Alliance and the New York State Association of County Health Officials and several other entities across the state. These recommendations have been made. Uh, now we are asking that each and every municipality follow suit. And in the interim, until something can change at the state level, the Board of Health is recommending that each municipality place their own wind law in effect that would make a setback of uh, at least 1.5 miles from any residence and a maximum uh, 35 decibel for the maximum level for the noise that comes off of the wind turbines is the recommendation that the Board of Health is sending to each municipality. The, the letter and the request to the municipalities is based on uh, county health officials across the state and locally, our own concerns regarding, you know, a lack of regulation and a lack of a full and transparent process to really ascertain whether or not there are any health or environmental impacts. Without having a full seeker review on these projects, we really don't know. And we need to quit putting policy in front of science and do our due diligence to see whether or not what we do need to do. And in the meantime, we don't know. So the Board of Health is, is acting reasonably and they're acting prudently in trying to set some sort of distance and, and sound maximum until the state can change legislation and require these companies to actually, actually have to go through this full seeker review. We did draft a letter to be sent to all of the towns in Chautauqua County uh, expressing our Board of Health concerns about the human health aspects of wind energy. Uh, we, we are also considering several other options. Uh, one of them is to um, amend the, the county sanitary code. If that happens, that will require New York State Department of Health approval. The second one was to have, uh, approach our legislature to discuss a local law. Uh, relative to wind energy. And the third is to uh, consider requiring a permit from our local health department. Uh, those are being reviewed by the law department. Uh, the one thing, again, that we, we did, we will send out on Monday uh, the letter to the towns, alerting them to our concerns about human health. That is correct, 1.5 miles from the residents 35 decibels, and um, also we are urging a, a state environmental quality review on the entire wind energy. I learned so much from running for public office. The first thing that most impressed me was that going out and campaigning and talking to the people in your township is the most vital thing you can do. Then you get a pulse on what's going on, what they're after, as their tax money is being used for a variety of different things. I got to speak to well over a hundred people in Arkwright and they all had the same thing, that they weren't being represented very well at all, that, that the town board meetings were, were very harsh, uh, that they were very dissatisfied with the turbines and what had happened with them. They were extremely upset at what was going on with the proposed town hall of up to a million dollars and solar panels. They did not want solar panels installed. And got, getting to talk to them, I understood that there was a, such a, a dismantling of the 
human relationship between the people in Arkwright, division in between families. So my platform and uh, we, I was part of what was called Advocates for Arkwright. There were five of us running for public office, uh, town supervisor, uh, town council, there were two seats open, um, who else was, secretary was running, and all of us happened to get in. And we are, we are just thrilled because we want to make a difference. We want, we the people, we want the people of Arkwright to have a say in where their tax money goes, not just to board members and supervisors and, and highway superintendents doing as they please. That is what a township is about. So I think there's going to be real shift in integrity. Um, we've uncovered a lot of stuff that it's going to take maybe a year to get in order, uh, but we can do it. We want to just thank the people for voting for us and having the confidence to know that we're really going to try. We're for the people. I can go get Chris. I can go get Chris.